happy Monday to you. This is Motivation Monday for May 18th, 2020. Today we're going to be talking about some of the things that happen behind the scenes. The things that God causes to happen behind the scenes and a few things that have been happening behind the scenes at the Bridgewood Church of Christ. It is a beautiful spring day out there. This morning we enjoyed a walk together as a family. Claire and I went out to the garden here at the house and we're looking at the way that the plants were growing and, and how big they've grown so quickly. Of course, having five inches of rain over the weekend will help with that, but we also know that the God who set all of these things in motion by speaking this world into existence, that God is in control and his creation even testifies to the fact that he is in control. But we also recognize that sometimes life feels like it's completely out of control. Everything is going wrong. Life is a mess. Well, God is still in control. God is still working behind the scenes as he always has been. I'd encourage you to look at John 5. John 5, a text that we studied not too long ago at Bridgewood Church of Christ, where Jesus heals the man at the pool of Bethesda, someone who had been lame. Jesus comes along, heals him. He's taking some accusations from the Jewish leaders there. And in verse 17, that's the verse you want to look at. Verse 17 of John 5, Jesus says, that My father is at work as he always has been to this day. And I am at work too. God and his son Jesus who've been here from the beginning, as you can read in John chapter 1, are at work today. And they're working behind the scenes for you. In your difficulties, in your troubles, in working out the challenges of life. God is at work today. I also want to call out a couple folks there at Bridgewood. Give them a kudos for a good job all of it, I think, was done pretty much behind the scenes. On Saturday, we had some real problems at the building. We had a huge uh, power spike earlier uh, last week, and it seemed to disrupt quite a few things. One of those things, Travis called me late Saturday morning to tell me that uh, the screen wouldn't come down. The screen was really essential to us having worship on site and also online as we kind of make this transition. And so Travis worked for several hours. I believe some other folks helped him. I know Beryl was with him, and she probably didn't sign up for almost a full day at the church building on Saturday. But they got it working. He hot-wired the thing, got it down where it needs to be, and we'll fix the rest later on. About the same time, Doug Jarvis was also there. And Doug was working on the presentation that he and I had put together for our worship service so that we'd have something that was uh, easy to use and easy to follow along with in our worship service to God in person and online. Well, the problem was the computer we had up there just couldn't handle it. But Doug had been building a new system, kind of with this in mind, and he got that implemented, and uh, and it took him all of his Saturday. But Sunday morning, I don't think he could really tell that anything had been going wrong. Doug, Travis, Beryl, lots of other folks, all working behind the scenes to make things happen. Thank you very much. Every church I've ever been involved with There's so many people behind the scenes who get things done, and we're thankful for you. We're thankful for God and the way he sees us through all the challenges that we face in life. We're thankful for our Christian friends and family, and we hope that you are busy and active in someone's life today and this week, encouraging and helping. God bless you.